Here's the thing. We all know the exhilaration of a shopping spree, or the excitement of unboxing a shiny new gadget. Consumerism is like that little voice in our heads saying, buy, buy, buy. It's that never-ending desire for more stuff. Materialism, on the other hand, is the belief that these material possessions hold the key to our happiness, identity, and social status. Now, let's talk money. Consumerism can put us in a bit of a financial pickle. It's like a debt trap waiting to ensnare the unsuspecting shopper. We buy things we can't afford to maintain a certain lifestyle or keep up with societal expectations. But guess what? That fancy car, those designer clothes, or that lavish vacation come at a cost. A high cost. But that's not all. Consumerism also blinds us to something important. Opportunity costs. Every dollar we spend on non-essential items is a missed opportunity to save, invest, or improve our financial well-being. Imagine this. Instead of splurging on that shiny new gadget, you could have instead started a savings account, invested in your education, or built up an emergency fund. Those are the true costs beneath the glittery facade of consumerism. Ever heard of hedonic adaption? It's the psychological phenomenon where we quickly adapt to new material possessions. Imagine the excitement of unboxing a brand new phone. It's like, wow, this is amazing. But guess what? That initial joy eventually wears off and we're back onto the hamster wheel, seeking the next fix of happiness through yet another purchase. Consumerism fuels the never-ending game of social comparison. Thanks to social media and advertising, we're bombarded with images of perfect lives and shiny possessions. And when we don't measure up, it can seriously impact our self-esteem. Scrolling through Instagram or Facebook, we see influencers sipping cocktails on exotic beaches or posing with luxury goods, and we start doubting our own worth we fall into the trap of believing that material possessions define us. But here's the truth, they don't. So how do we escape this never-ending cycle? It's time to practice some mindful consumption. Being mindful means questioning whether an item we buy aligns with our values, needs, and long-term goals. By practicing mindful consumption, we can break free from the grasp of consumerism and focus on what genuinely brings us joy and fulfillment. But that's not all. Empower yourself with financial literacy. Understanding personal finance helps us make more informed decisions, set realistic goals, and prioritize spending based on what truly matters to us. 